How's it going everyone? Quick little video here as I really want to highlight just an absolutely tremendous game deal that's available. I typically don't do quick videos on just one game deal, but I imagine this is going to go out of stock very quickly, and I want to promote this game as much as I can. It's a game that I've been talking about that I want to promote it a little bit more and get you guys to play it. That is 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. It's a game that has really held up in price on PSN. Even when it goes on sale, it's still like $25, but right now over at GameStop, it's available for $7.98. Honestly, I implore you guys to just turn off this video and go buy the game immediately. Just go click the link in the description box below and buy it. This is such a tremendous game that is so underrated. Well, in my opinion, it's underrated. They actually put out a stat that it sold over 800,000 copies, which, you know, comparatively speaking to some of the big games that come out, 800,000 copies is nothing. But in the case of a niche game like 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, that is a really, really solid number. And this is, of course, a game done by Vanillaware, a studio that I oh so love. Odin Sphere, Muramasa the Demon's Blade, Dragon's Crown Pro are some of their other titles. And those games were a little bit of the same style in 13 Sentinels, definitely from a visual standpoint point has that vanillaware flavor to it. This game has a gorgeous art style that is just going to age tremendously well. I want to say it came out back in 2020. And obviously, it's not a game that is your God of War Ragnarok in terms of technical uh, prowess, but it's a game that just has a gorgeous art style and the uh, the d art direction is fantastic. The soundtrack is incredible, but more importantly, above all else, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim has an incredibly compelling narrative. Now, it is a narrative that is a little bit difficult to follow. You're playing as all of these different characters. It's a lot of jumping around different timelines, and yes, that could get a little bit overwhelming, especially initially, but how they weave everything together and how everything kind of seamlessly comes together uh, as you play the game more and more, it is just fantastic. If you are remotely into Japanese titles, if you're okay with like the anime aesthetic, and that kind of genre. 13 Sentinels is a game that I highly, highly, highly recommend you to play. It is just such a fantastic game, and uh, it tells a well-told narrative all across. Like, it's not a game that, you know, really sets up a sequel or anything like that. You just have this one story, and from start to finish, it is a hook. It's a game that'll absolutely hook you. Again, might take you half an hour, an hour to really get into it from a story standpoint, but I feel like for that half an hour to an hour to really get into it, you're gonna be drawn into it based on the incredible art direction the charming characters, and the great soundtrack. Those elements are strong enough. The one flaw to the game, and it's not even that big of a flaw, is the real-time strategy style battle system. I wasn't crazy about that. It's fine. It's just every other aspect of the game from a story telling, uh, telling standpoint, visual uh, standpoint, soundtrack standpoint, sound direction, character development. Those elements are oh so strong in this game that the battle system was a little bit mid, in my opinion. If you hate the battle system, you can literally put it on easy and it pretty much won't even be there. If you just want to purely play this game for the story. Relatively easy platinum trophy, all in all, as well, if you're into that. Um, yeah, just a fantastic game and doesn't get enough love. Definitely doesn't get enough love on this channel, but every time it's been going on sale, I've been trying to give it a couple more mentions. It's just on this channel, we often cover PSN deals under a certain price threshold, so 13 Sentinels has been holding up in price when when you talk about the PSN deal in particular when it goes on sale, but in this case, it's $8. Let me just refresh it again. Uh, okay, it's still in stock, so I would definitely... This is a new copy, by the way. A new copy of 13 Sentinels for $8 is just stupid, and, um, you know, I get it. For some of you guys that get tired of me mentioning Japanese games, yeah, this might be a little bit of a jarring game. Might not be the best title for your first foray into Japanese titles, but... Such a good one. If you guys are familiar with Vanillaware, if you played some of their other games, if you play JRPGs, Japanese games, anime aesthetic games, you're gonna be, it's gonna be right up your alley. And uh, again, once the story gets going and you start unraveling some of the mystery in it, man, pack a lunch and buckle up because this is just a tremendously, tremendously well-told story with twists and turns, just stuff going on and stuff going down all the time, just so well-told. And honestly, at some point, I gotta do another playthrough of this because I just love this game. So yeah, for $8, ridiculous deal go check it out that's gonna do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below sound off down below if i ever see deals like this where it's just a game or two and i just find the deal to be so uh worth deserving i'll do this a little bit more often but uh yeah definitely go check this out thank you for watching and goodbye
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.